Hello scientists! My name is Mariana and I am with Scientific Adventures for Girls. Today we are going to be engineers, a type of scientist that builds things. We are building catapults, which is a simple machine that can launch objects through the air. To make these mini catapults, you'll just need a few simple materials. For the first type of catapult I'll be showing, you'll need 8 to 11 popsicle sticks, either large or small, tape, and rubber bands or hair ties. You'll also need a spoon or bottle cap to hold the item you want to launch. This bowl-shaped part of the catapult is called a bucket. For the second type of catapult, you'll need seven skewers, also known as shish kebab sticks, four large marshmallows, tape, a rubber band, and lastly, you'll need a spoon to act as your bucket. The object that a catapult launches is called a payload. Here are some items you can use for the payload of your catapult. Ping pong balls, small pieces of sponge, wet or dry, crumpled up pieces of paper or tape, plastic bottle caps, marshmallows, large or mini, cotton balls, and dried beans. Alright, for the first catapult, I'll show you how to make one with popsicle sticks, um, and it'll end up looking something like this or something like this. So first we're going to start off and just get about seven popsicle sticks, six or seven, um, and I have some small ones here. Uh, but you can use the large ones if you have, um, so whatever you have handy. So, and you're just going to make a big stack like this. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. So let's just start with seven. And you're going to secure the ends with either rubber bands or hair ties. So I have um, some hair ties that I'm going to use first. And just wrap them a few times. I wrap mine three times around the end and do it three times on this end. There we go. And now I'll get two more popsicle sticks. And this next part you can do in a few different ways. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I get uh, the first popsicle stick and I put it on one end of my other stack and I get the other one and I put it behind so I'm making a plus sign and then I'm going to get two rubber bands and wrap them around. Um, so the first rubber band will be wrapped across this way Oops. and I move around a lot so that's okay but it'll be wrapped around like that. And then my other one, I'll wrap around the other direction so that it makes an X in the middle with the rubber bands. So one, two, three. I think I can get around a fourth time. There we go. Nice, and I found this is easier. You can also do it one popsicle stick at a time and then try to put the second popsicle stick um, by squeezing it under the rubber bands, but I just do it this way since I feel like it's easier. So now you should have a plus sign like that. And then you're going to get another rubber band or hair tie and just um, secure an end, uh, squeeze two ends together. So I'll just have a rubber band here that I'll use. There we go. Wrap around as many times as you can to make it nice and secure. And so now you have your basic catapult structure. So this you can actually use, just put something right there and test it out. Um, but I want to make a little kind of cup for a little um, launch item to go inside. So you can get a, let's see, so you can get a, um, a bottle cap lid or water bottle lid and just put it on right here. You can either glue it on with some wet glue, let it dry, or use some hot glue, or just get a piece of tape. So I'll show you how I'm just going to use a piece of tape. Some masking tape and I want to leave a little bit 
of the popsicle stick showing right here because that's what I'm going to use to flick. And you just get your water bottle lid, start putting tape on the inside, and then put it on your catapult and wrap it around until it's all used and it goes back inside. There we go. So now there's a little kind of cup in my catapult. And this is ready to be tested. Let's see, I have a cotton ball here. So it can go right there and you can put this on the ground or on a table, but I'll lift it up so you all can see. And you might wanna hold the front end down and then use this and flick it. All right, so this is one model. Um, if you want to change it up a little bit, you can actually make this part of the catapult longer. So I can get another um, popsicle stick and just add it to that part. And I will use some tape to make that stick. There we go. So then again, you can either add um, the water bottle lid to the top, tape that on, or if you have a spoon, I have a plastic spoon here, you can um, put that onto your catapult. So with some tape, I'm gonna line this up. I can either make it really far back or maybe put it closer to the front and just use tape and wrap it around. Like that. So this is another um, type of catapult that you can test out and maybe you can make two catapults and compare the first model to this model and see which one, does one of them have a um, farther reach if I used the same cotton ball and tested it out. That one seemed to go farther for me, but does it work the same for you? Um, or test to see which one can make the cotton ball go farther up. So how high can it go or how far can it go? Uh, if you don't have cotton balls, you can also use some other items um, like maybe a marshmallow, uh, you can also simply just crumble up a piece of paper into a ball and use that uh, or wrap some tape up in a ball and use that as a launch item. Um, also, if you want to test out um, how heavy an item is uh, compared to another item, you can test a ping pong ball with maybe a heavy rolled up piece of paper and maybe some more items are uh, some beans, so one bean at a time. Just be very careful when you're testing this out that no one is in your way when you're testing it because you don't want to accidentally get a bean in someone's face or even a marshmallow or anything like that. So be very careful, um, but I hope you have a lot of fun testing out this catapult. For the next type of catapult, we're going to make something that looks like this using marshmallows, um, skewer sticks, a spoon, and a rubber band. So pretty simple uh, materials and it works really well. So first, um, well you'll need seven skewers or shish kebab sticks uh, in total, but we're just going just gonna to start with three. So with three sticks and three marshmallows, you're going to make a triangle. So just stick two of your skewers into one marshmallow and then put two more at the bottom and then one more stick in between these last two to make an equal lateral triangle. So we'll see how well we'll get that. Nice. Now we're going to turn this triangle into a pyramid by adding three more skewers 
and another marshmallow on top. So this will be your base and you'll stick three skewers into your marshmallows. And then one more marshmallow at the top. There we go. So now we have a nice triangular pyramid. So now we're going to put that aside for a second and get our last uh, skewer and tape your spoon to the end of it. Um, or if you don't have the spoon, again, you can use something that looks like this with the water bottle cap and popsicle stick. So I'll use a spoon and I will tape it to the end, leaving the pointy side open to be easier to stick into the marshmallow. I'm getting a piece of tape, wrap it all the way around so that the stick is um, all the way against the handle of the spoon. There we go. Nice and stable. Cool. So then this last shish kebab stick will get poked into one of the bottom um, marshmallows, whichever one you want. So I'm just going to do this one. And your uh, spoon should be going through the middle. And then you're getting your rubber band and wrapping it around so it goes around the spoon and the top marshmallow. So it should look like that. Very easy. So now this catapult is ready to be tested. Uh, again, you might want to hold the front down when you're testing it, but you'll just pull this back and uh, put something in there to launch. So let's see. I'll do another cotton ball. And you all can see, see how well it goes. Yeah, it went pretty far. So I hope you have fun testing out this catapult launcher as well. Um, maybe you can compare it to the first model and see again which one goes farther, which one can launch higher, um, or test out a target, set up a target for your catapults and see which one is more accurate, which one can get the target more than the other one. If you'd like to see even more ways to make different catapults besides these ones, check out the links in the description below. You can make a catapult with soda cans, rubber bands, and a fork, or even cardboard rubber bands and a pencil. And don't forget to record data when you test out your catapult. An easy way to collect data is to take your catapult outside and launch small pieces of wet sponge and wherever the sponge lands will mark a wet spot and that's an easy way to see your data. Thanks so much for joining me scientists and I hope you have fun making and testing out your catapults.